Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Crunchy, and it's official. Joe Budden has been elected the next president of the United States. Wait, what? What's that? It's not Joe Budden? Okay, it's Joe Biden, my bad. Joe Biden has been elected the next president of the United States. You know, since Kanye was running everything, I thought Joe Budden would be running too. But you know what? It's all good. Orange has been voted out. Orange was too sus. You know... He, he gotta go. You gotta accept it and move on. And so do you Trumpettes. You know what I mean? First, I just want to say I'm an independent. Uh, I, I didn't like either candidate. But you know what? Everybody fucking hated Trump. That wasn't a fucking try-hard Trump supporter. You know, I'm not super political or anything. And I'm not definitely, definitely not gonna say who I voted for. At the end of the day, you know, I'm just saying... Kanye would have given us stimulus easies, but you know what, with Joe Biden, with his dementia, shit, we're going to be getting $1,200 stimulus checks every week, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah, uh, you know, but in all seriousness, um, I'm still a little worried, just because there, I'm still worried that there's going to be civil unrest, uh, there's, Trump's already saying that uh, it was, he lost because of voter fraud, even though elections go by counting every single vote, and he was demanding that people stop the count. Uh, there were uh, Trump supporters on one side in Detroit saying stop the count at the poll, uh, where they were counting the ballots and shit. And then there was one side of the Trump supporters that were saying count the votes. And after the ones that were saying count the votes, good on you, because if we stopped counting the votes, that's not a democracy. Uh, so... Good on you guys, and for those that were saying stop the count, y'all are some dumbass idiots, you know what I mean? I don't want to just cause a little war in the comments section, I don't want to do a political war, but just, y'all are dumb, and I'm going to keep it real, and just say it again, you're dumb, and you're just blinded. Uh, but anyway, at the end of the day, support her you support, I am not going to hate you for who you voted for or hate you for who uh, you support in any way, shape, or form. Uh, at the end of the day, America is freedom of speech. Uh, you know, you could vote for who you want and no one should be able to tell you otherwise. That being said, I am still a little bit worried about civil unrest, like I said before, uh, because if this goes to court and Trump doesn't actually want to leave the office it's gonna be a it's gonna be pretty pretty bad and I am almost 24 years old I'll be turning 24 next month never in my life have I seen a president not be reelected not get reelected I have never seen it before in my life not only that I have never seen an election take three days and that was because of all the mail-in votes because let's keep it real donald trump told his supporters to vote in person go to the polls right so they didn't do uh mail-in ballots the majority of them didn't i would assume and then democrats who are for uh mail-in voting especially with the covid going on people you know want to stay safe and stay at home and everything and wait, even before that, a lot of Democrats would do mail-in ballots. So Trump's already saying uh, voter fraud. And you know what? People like the far left, when Trump got elected, were saying that, you know, tr uh, Russia interfered with the election. That's how Trump got office. And then now uh, the Trump and his supporters are saying that Biden only got in office because of voter fraud. So it, it really comes full circle. It really is funny to me how everything just has come full circle, you know what I mean? Now, the far left was crying about Trump, and again, I didn't like Trump, and I don't like Biden either, but that's besides the point. I don't I don't like either of them, but the far left were literally crying, and the minute he was elected president, there were people screaming and burning vi the towns, they almost said villages, like this some medieval war type shit. Um, yeah, burned a village fucking like Minecraft type shit. You know, they were protest, protestory chickens. They were protest like out or one within for like the first hour Donald Trump was elected president. 
you know, I'm not saying that Republicans are going to be as nearly as violent as the the protests have been when Donald Trump was elected. You know, I eh, eh, I may be talking out of my ass here. I don't know. You let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. And look, 169. Nice. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, so anyway, off of this whole political thing, one more last thing. I just want to reiterate to, you know, how funny it is to me that everything just came full circle between the voter fraud with Trump being elected and now voter fraud when uh, Biden is elected. Uh, overall, uh, I think Biden is going to do a good job. I don't want the guy to fail. I don't think anybody in their right mind who actually thinks freely, uh, you know, separate from their political parties, which is kind of hard if you're so set on po your political party, um, Nobody wants a president to fail. You know, even when Donald Trump is in office, and he still is in office, but I mean, like, I didn't want the guy to fail. You know, I still wanted him to do a good job. But anyway, moving on all that, um, I have nothing really else to say about that. You know, I'm just, you know, kind of shooting the shit over here. But anyway, I, I always say, but anyway, and, uh, and, but <laughs> that's besides the point yet again. You know, we're less than a week away from Black Ops Cold War coming out. We got some news about regarding the prestige system, this new prestige system, uh, which is a hybrid between, um, you know, the modern warfare seasonal progression system and a cross between the old school prestige system. Even though it's not exactly prestiging, it's still better than what we had before. You know what I mean? If there's some type of prestiging, I'm all for it. Uh, but now let's go ahead and just what what how does it work? So you're gonna have your military ranks your level one through fifty five, and after that you automatically enter prestige, but you don't lose any of your progress on your weapons. You don't lose any of your unlocks or your created class stuff will still be there. Um, and every fifty levels in that prestige that you rank up is there's like there's gonna be like three prestiges within like the first season or season zero so it'll be like prestige one will be 1 to 50 uh, 50 to 100 will be prestige 2 and 100 and 150 will be prestige 3 for that season and it looks like there's gonna be a total of six seasons for Cold War so there's gonna be a lot of, of prestiging uh, quote unquote going on uh, and every 50 levels in Prestige, you unlock Prestige Keys, which let you uh, buy, what is that, old school Black Ops Prestige emblems from older games. Uh, honestly, I'm probably, if I end up doing that, like I probably either gonna get the Black Ops 1 Master Prestige or the Black Ops 2 Master Prestige uh, emblem. But that's not only that. This is going to be a unified system between Cold War, Modern Warfare, and Warzone. So, Modern Warfare is finally getting a prestige system, uh, even though it's going to be unified throughout. The only thing that kind of worries me is this, that is this going to carry over into the next Call of Duty game? Are you like, we're going to get like new KDs? Like, I want you know, a fresh KD, you know what I mean? But anyway, something is better than nothing, I guess. And, you know, I'm kind of, am I going to, you know, become prestige master? Probably not because, uh, during the season you can hit, what is it? Level 1000? I'm like, 1000? How, I wonder how many people are actually, you know, besides people who play this game for a living, who are streamers, or who make, uh, YouTube videos with a very large subscriber base. How many people are actually going to go ahead and hit this level 1000 every season? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If you do, like, man, you need to you need to get yourself a job. Maybe get a girlfriend, or at the very least just buy a flashlight. Do, do, do something instead of just, you know, sitting on your ass playing Call of Duty and masturbating. Even though I guess 
a flashlight is technically masturbating. Hey, at least it, it feels like a vagina. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of the video. Final score is 40 and 13. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below regarding this whole election thing and the, this new prestige system for Call of Duty going forward. Um, it looks like Call of Duty is just going to have a be unified throughout all of them going forward, which it's kind of... I don't know how I feel about that yet, but anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Keep it real, stay crunchy, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Deuces. Kanye 2024.